Yo, hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So, I am back with some story times, some very underwhelming story times, am I right? And pretty much, I'm just going to be telling you about my experiences here in Japan and kind of like the experiences that stood out to me. So yeah, let's get started with story number one. Now, do you guys remember my homie Alex? Me and him did a video together here on my channel. Well, anyway, he's a student here in Japan, but he went to go study abroad at my university a couple years back. So when he was studying abroad at my university, me and him were talking and I'm like, yo, Alex, I want to go to your university in Japan and he's like well come on man like I'll be there like by the time you get there and I'm like alright cool and he told me he's like but listen Kiko if you ever decide to go to the club in Japan I guarantee you I guarantee you that a Japanese bitch is gonna come up to you and grind on your dick his words not mine damn it Alex this is supposed to be a family friendly show but anyway I'm like listen Alex I don't really believe you right now cuz that's not really common that has never happened to me before and girls don't really go up to guys and grind on them like usually it's the guys going up to the girls and this is Japan we're talking about like I don't think that's as common either so so I don't really believe you alright so fast forward about a year later I come to Japan for the first time and I meet up with Alex and a couple other friends and we decide to hit up a club here in Japan and also I kind of want to see how a club in Japan compares to one in America so anyway we went to a club it was a pretty small club like it wasn't really big and while we were there we were just chilling drinking some beers dancing a little but not too much because we weren't that drunk yet so after I finished my first beer I decided to go order another beer so I left the dance floor and I went to the bar counter and there was a line there so as I was waiting in line you guessed it a Japanese girl comes up to me and pretty much says hey what's your name where are you from and I looked at her and I tried to use Japanese and I'm like oh my name is Kiko and I'm from America and she looked at me and she's like oh do you speak Japanese and I'm like a little bit and she's like okay don't worry you don't have to use Japanese I know my English pretty good I'm like okay okay and she's like nice to meet you and I'm like nice to meet you too and we shook hands and right Right after we get done shaking hands, she turns around and starts grinding on me. And I'm like, huh, interesting. <laughs> so at this point, two things are going through my mind. The first one is, hey girl. Second off, I'm thinking like, okay, listen, Kiko, your innocence is at stake here. If you don't want to lose your innocence right now, you better stop this. And I'm like, hmm tough decision so obviously I went with choice number two so I was like hey girl I'm over here trying to order a beer I'm really thirsty if you want to dance with me you can go dance at the dance floor is that cool and she looked at me she's like yeah that's cool and she keeps twerking and I'm like hmm I'm living very dangerously right now and I'm like listen girl go to the dance floor I'll go meet you there I she like I and she finally left and I turn around Alex is there and he's like with my other friend and they're all kind of like yeah um, we kind of saw that go down and I looked at Alex and I'm like all right you were right what you said about me coming to a club in Japan it happened and now I believe you so anyway I mean I didn't really go look for her cuz I mean a couple reasons she wasn't really my type if you know what I'm saying no, I'm not trying to sound mean or anything and I was just there you know just chilling with my friends and we we're just drinking and dancing a little and apparently that girl was asking my friends like I separated into a different group and that girl started to ask my friends like yo so where's your American friend at you know I'm trying to dance with him and they were just saying like yo we don't know Oh, we don't know where he's at but eventually she found me I was all the way across the dance floor and she was like on the other side she saw me we made eye contact and she started coming towards my way like dancing my way and I'm like oh she, she's coming back for round two and she finally caught up to me and yeah round two happened but round two only lasted about you know 10 seconds after like 10 seconds of twerking I'm like all right time to back out a little bit so I started backing up backing up and then she found another victim and then that was the end of that but anyway that happened and you know what do you guys think is it interesting semi-interesting not really interesting i don't know i found it kind of interesting but let me know what you think all right so now we're gonna go on to story number two so during the first couple of months here i was in japan i was hanging out with a couple friends and i actually have to name out my friends sorry guys because they're kind of important they're all they're all very important to the story uh, my first friend was kai he's a guy from australia me and him get along very good uh, my second friend was with Shay and she was the other study abroad American who came with me to this university and then we had like a third Japanese guy and his name is Toshi so it was the three of us hanging out so we decided to go to KFC you know because I mean why not we were missing our American food and I'm like yo I'm craving American food let's go to KFC so anyway we were at KFC eating and we decided to set up against the wall because there wasn't that many seats left and Shay and Toshi sat together and then there was like a random person by themselves and then it was me and Kai so, so we were kind of separated having our own conversation but yeah, after a while, like Kai, he's looking like behind me and I'm kind of having a conversation with him and he's like, yo Kiko, yo Kiko, wait up, hold up a minute. And I'm like, what's up, what's up man, what's going on? And he's like, yo, there's two girls behind you and I think they're checking you out. And I'm like, 
I don't believe you, man. I think you're, I think you're messing with me right now. He's like, no, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Like, look around. Like, like, take a look around. So I look back. I see the two girls he's talking about, but they're not looking at me. They're just giggling. And after I looked at them for like about three seconds, they look up and make eye contact with me. And I look back at Kai and I'm like, dude, that's, that's just a coincidence, man. They're probably like hating on me because I'm a foreigner or something, you know? And he's like, no, no. He's like, I think they're really checking you out. So after like about a minute, I look back again and they're looking in my direction again and they're giggling and pointing. And I'm like, all right, all right. So I'm like, listen, Kai, I'm gonna look back one more time. If they're still looking in my direction for the third time, then they might be checking me out. You know? And he's like, all right, all right, cool. So I wait about 30 seconds. I look back, they're looking in my direction. So I'm like, huh, all right. So I turn back to Kai and I'm like, hey, Kai, you know, there's a possibility that they might be checking you out because you're Australian. Like, we're both foreigners. And he looked at me, he's like, who do you think they're checking out? And I'm like, honestly, man, I don't know. It could either be me or you or both of us, really, who knows? And then he smiled and he's like, do you want to find out? And I'm like, yeah, actually, that sounds very interesting. And he's like, all right, so which one of us should go up to them? And I'm like, well, if one of us goes up to them, um, it might be kind of weird, because how about if it's like the wrong guy? Like, if he goes up to them and they were checking me out, it'll be weird for him. So Kai looks at Toshi, like our Japanese friend. He's like, yo, Toshi, come over here. So Toshi comes up to us. He's like, listen, Toshi, you have a mission. Your mission is to go up to that table of girls, and you're going to ask them, between me and Kiko, where are they checking out? And then Toshi looked at us, and he's like, are you guys serious? And we're like, yeah, go ask them. And then Toshi started laughing. He's like, all right, I'll do it. So Toshi goes up to them. He starts talking to them. Blah, 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 blah. And then he comes back to us and he's like, yeah, they weren't checking you guys out. And we're like, really? Yeah, they were looking at Shay's hair. Like they were saying like her hair is really beautiful and long. And we're like, really? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> And pretty much Toshi said that they, all they were talking about was our friend Shay's hair and they were definitely not talking about us. So me and Kai were kind of like, damn, we just got owned. And then Kai is like, all right, um, well, Toshi, your next mission is to go back up to them and ask them between me and Kiko, who do they find the most attractive, pretty much. <laughs> Toshi is like, are you guys really want to do this? And we're like, yeah. So Toshi goes back up to them, blah, 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 blah. And then he comes back to us and says like, um, they pretty much said that they can't really see you guys from that distance and they can't really make a judgment so me and Kai look at each other and then Kai is like do you want to go up there and ask them and I'm like let's go so me and him get up and we walk over there like with our swag walk and we go up to the table and we're like hey girls and Kai pretty much did all the talking because they were Japanese girls he knows Japanese I don't so he pretty much asked them like hey so between me and my friend here who do you guys find the most attractive and right away after he asked that question one of the girls pointed at me and my confidence got boosted by like two points so then Kai started laughing and he's like all right all right and he looked at the other girl and he's like what about you and the girl asked him like well what am I judging here am I judging like appearance only personality style like what am I judging here and Kai just told her like well just from appearance only like who do you think is like the most attractive and then the girl looked at both of us and then she pointed at me and I'm like Ugh, confidence boosted by Two more points. And then Kai is like, all right, I understand. And then he looked at me, and he's like, get their number. And then he left, and I'm like, yo, Kai, like, I don't know any Japanese. I don't even have a phone. My phone was broken at that time, so I didn't have a phone. I really didn't have a phone. So I didn't know what to do. And then both of the girls looked at me, and they started giggling, and they're like, yo, we don't know any English. And I told them, like, yo, I don't know any Japanese. And they're like, you just said that in Japanese? I'm like, I know, but I don't know it. <laughs> and pretty much I just told them, I'm like, hey, listen, I think you're two are really beautiful it was nice to meet you i'll see you later peace and that's, that's pretty much all that happened and then um we went back finished our kfc and then uh shay and our japanese friend toshi they started hating on us saying like wow you guys are um kind of conceited for thinking they were checking you out and we're like no oh, whatever it was it was an experience it was an adventure we made a memory and now it's a story on video on the internet Let's stop. now just a quick little side fact did you guys know that like in tokyo there's a robot restaurant it's actually really fancy like if you look it up online like there are robots that make it for you well while i was here in japan i didn't go to tokyo's robot restaurant but i went to a small robot restaurant and here's some footage of it and you kind of see like the robots in action you know like making the food i mean it looks cool it's a really nice restaurant like when you enter the restaurant it's cool seeing the robots making the food is cool and having like a little robot toy 
employee that you can talk to, order your meals with, is cool. You know, but that robot restaurant that I went to does not compare to the Tokyo one. Like, hopefully I'll go to the Tokyo one one day. And if you guys ever come to Japan and ever come to Tokyo, definitely check out the robot restaurants. It's really cool and it's just, it's just something interesting to do, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go on to the final story. Story number three. So, some of you guys might know or might not know that on my free time, I like to play Pokemon Go. So, one day, on a nice, on a very nice night, I decided to go downtown and walk around and play some Pokemon Go. The weather was beautiful. I got to see the city lights, walk around downtown, you know. I, I like to do that kind of stuff, you know. So, I was walking, playing, you know, doing my thing. And then, this elderly Japanese couple comes up to me and starts talking to me. They're like, oh, excuse me, you know, in Japanese. And they're like, can you speak Japanese? And I'm like, oh yeah, like a little bit. And then they're like, all right. And then they start saying some stuff that I'm not really understanding. And I told them like, like I don't really understand what you guys are trying to say to me. And then they start saying something about a temple. I understand the word for temple. And I'm like, all right, temple, temple. And then after talking for about 10 minutes, I finally understood what they said. Pretty much the elderly Japanese man is like, hey, do you want to come to my temple and see it? And do you have free time right now? And I was thinking like, all right, so this elderly Japanese couple wants me to go to their temple to go see it right now for some reason and I'm like that's kind of weird but every day is an adventure and if I don't do this I'm not gonna get any memories so I'm like you know what I'm gonna do it I might die I might get kidnapped I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm gonna do it man let's do it so I looked at them and I'm like let's go they're like really and I'm like yeah let's go so I start walking with them and we're conversating and then um, a car comes and picks them up and then I get inside the car but we were having trouble communicating because they didn't speak English my Japanese was bad but we were doing okay so we drive and we arrive at the temple we enter the temple and there's like a security guy who tells me to sign my name and I'm like all right I don't know what's gonna happen but here we go so I signed my name and then they showed me their temple and it was really cool it was a really nice temple and pretty much I found out that they were Buddhists Buddhism after they showed me around we sat down for a while and then they took me to like a small room and pretty much how the small room was designed and what it looked like was like a traditional Japanese room like you see in anime. I don't know how to explain it. Pretty much like a wooden room with like the sliding door and like a big poster in the middle on the wall. You know what I'm saying? I really liked that room. Like it felt it felt really nice being there. Like it was really cool and I, I just liked everything about it. And then they showed me a video about Buddhism and kind of like the history of Buddhism. It was only like 10 minutes so it wasn't that bad. And then um, a couple of them like came and started talking to me, you know, like asking me about myself and, and then they're like, uh, you know, so what religion are you? And I told them and we were just talking and they were saying like, um, you should try and be the best person you can be treat everyone fairly you know think about your decisions and how it affects others and you know they were giving me very good advice and it was like it's like advice that I try to give myself so I agreed with them and I'm like yeah that's like the stuff I think about like when making a decision if it's gonna affect everybody else you know you should think about how everybody else is gonna get affected you know like I was telling them like I agree with you like I think the same way and they were saying like as humans we want to try and bring out the best inside of us you know stuff like that so we were just talking about that and I agreed with everything they said and it felt really nice having a conversation with them you know and then they told me like if I want to start coming to church like with them like every Sunday or Saturday like I was welcome to but I told them like I didn't really want to join a church and, and they told me like okay we understand so then they took me back to the spot they picked me up from and after that experience I'm like you know what I'm happy I actually did that because it was a really good experience and I really liked it and I was really happy to see that temple like it was really nice to see so no regrets there man I actually I actually enjoyed it and later I told my friends about it and a lot of them didn't believe me they're like that's kind of weird like why would you do that and Japanese people don't normally go up to strangers and ask them like that kind of stuff so some of them didn't really believe me but, <laughs> but you know whatever it happened it was good it was cool and yeah that's the end of that story I don't know what else to add to that um, let me know what you guys think but anyway thank you for watching this video you know hopefully I was be able to entertain you for a couple minutes if not leave a dislike if I did leave a like and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out